In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a link to the uh, tapered uh, section. So I have a two example of tapered uh, section here, two beams. So I'm going to add the links here. But uh, before adding the, uh, the links, um, I'm going to add the, the main bar first. Okay, so I'm going to use the bar group and then type here main bar. I have 20 dia bar. So maybe the uh, the bending radius is radius is uh, twenty, no hook. So I'll put here negative uh, fifty. So select the beam, and pick the shape one, two, three, four, and then middle button of your mouse, and then pick the range. And there you go. So you have now the uh, the main bar here, and then for the uh, another bar on the top so i can use again the bar group select and then pick this point again one two three and then four middle button of your mouse and then pick the range again there you go so you will notice that this one is outside the uh, uh the concrete so maybe i'll just uh, show this one as selected first only selected so so the so the view will be uh, clear so this one we can do the adjustment on the on plane value so instead of 50 here i will adjust i will make this one as 150 so that one will be 150 and then i i will use this uh, on plane as a distance list so that i can put more value on the uh, cupboard of the leg of uh, the rebar or the main bar so the first leg offset is uh, 150 and then the second leg i will just simply type here space and then 50 and there you go so now it will be inside the concrete so if you want to have a uh, uh, a different value on the third leg then you can type here 100 and that one will be a different value but uh, if this one is similar value on the uh, uh, the second leg then you just simply uh, put one one value of the 50 millimeter okay and then uh, the next one is uh, I'm going to add another uh, rebar here so maybe a straight bar one let's say one one 450 middle button and then there you go so you have now this main bar or I can change the uh, the quantity here instead of uh, uh, three. I'll put the number of reinforcing bar here to four. All right, and then I can change the uh, again the uh, prom plane instead of fifty. I'll put seventy-five. All right, so that will be inside the. other rebar and then this one I'll choose negative 50 and there you go so I have now the main bar reinforcement now for the link okay so as you all know we can easily add the uh, the normal link here so let's say here I will type here a uh, stirrups or links and then I'll choose 10 and then green and then the hook, I'll choose the 90 degrees hook. 90 degrees hook. And then this one, instead of uh, 50, I'll put uh, 35. Uh, the front plane is uh, maybe 50. And this one must be 35, 35. If you're doing a close link, the on plane and start, the on plane start and end must be equal to each other because this one is a close link. And then this one is distributed in by the target spacing which is 200 or maybe I'll put it as uh, 150 to make it smaller so select the beam again 1 2 3 4 and then 5 and then middle button of your mouse and then from this point to this point that will be the first the range all right and there you go so you have now the uh, the link and then for this one same thing actually i can just simply copy this one copy 
from this point to this point and then do the adjustment so what will be the adjustment so this one must be uh, moved from this point to 500 just type in 500 and then select again all the top handle and then move to the top and there you go so you have now the this link okay and for the tapered one okay so this video is all about this tapered so now this is the how you add the tapered so what you can do is select again the rebar and then maybe I'll change the color and then this time rebar group use the tapered so all you have to do is to select again the beam so look one two three so select the perpendicular point and then pick here four and then five middle button and then go to the other section again one two three four five and then middle button of your mouse and there you go so you have now the tapered reinforcement okay now uh, let's say uh, I want to do more instead of tapered I will use the uh, uh, tapered uh, N and then I will use the three section tapered N meaning uh, more more sections you can uh, you can create so at this point of time I will use uh, uh, maybe one one two three four so I'll I'll use the tapered N and then I will say four sections okay so I'll choose four so let's try this one so select select again one one two three four five middle button of your mouse and then since you start on this point you must start on the second uh, section on the same point or same side one two three four five middle button of your mouse and then this one one two Go for the tapered sign three four five and then the last section one two three four five and then middle button of your mouse and there you go so you have now the uh, the tapered section okay so this one is a combination of the uh, uh, straight and then tapered section using uh, our uh, rebar group uh, type tapered N okay so if you want to separate this one individually then you must select the uh, the normal one and then you must select the uh, standard the, st the normal one and the tapered so you must add this one three times okay but in this case uh, I, I've shown you uh, the way you created only on the tapered and also using the tapered with the num with the numbers of sections now let's move to the next example so uh, okay let me just uh, show you the uh, reinforcement here all right this case I will uh, show only this uh, tapered so this time I'm going to use the uh, the rebar set. So let's see how this rebar set works in the tapered section. So first select the longitudinal bar. So pick the top and then the bottom. And that's it. So you have already the 
top and bottom bar and then next is the uh, cross section uh, create crossing bar or cross 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 bar okay so again select the uh, shape of the uh, beam and then one two three four so the all sides it will be a close link and then middle bottom of your mouse and that's it done so all, all you have to do is to make it sure that the uh, main bar is inside the link so you must select the uh, main bar and select the direct modification and then under this direct modification you can uh, open the uh, sell, open the uh, contextual toolbar and select this move to the innermost layer and there you go and then again select this select again the top bar and then here move to the innermost layer and there you go now if you want to have a hook on the uh, link so just simply select the link and then click this uh, end detail so pick this point and there will be a hook for the end detail so this is how you uh, create the uh, tapered uh, link or uh, link on the tapered section using the rebar set and the other one is using the bar group okay so this is how you do it thank you